the last session we have seen stresses in thin and thick cylinder today we will see design of thick cylinder if the ratio of inner diameter to the thickness is less or equal to 15 then we are seeing it as a thick cylinder generally you will find the high pressure pipes or gun barrels are the example of thick cylinders to design thick cylinder that means to find out the all thickness of the cylinder last time we have seen the different stresses induced in thick cylinder that is circumferential stress radial stress and longitudinal stress now here to design thick cylinder and to find out its all thickness it is totally depends on cylinder material and condition of cylinder end whether the cylinder is made of brittle material or whether it is made of ductile material based on that we are going to use the different equations to find out the thickness of thick cylinder in another condition whether the cylinder end is open or closed on the basis of that again we have to use another equations to find out the thickness now first equation lamage equation when cylinder is made of brittle material the lamage equation is prepared and brittle material and generally maximum principal stress theory of failure is applied that's why according to this theory maximum principal stress is equal to permissible permissible stress of for the material by using this theory we are going to find out the maximum stresses in thick cylinder now principal stresses are according to this theory sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 3 out of which which one is the maximum that we have to consider in last sessions we have derived the expression for the different stresses in thick cylinder according to this circumferential stress that is sigma t is given by this expression radial stress at the inner surface sigma r is equal to minus pi and longitudinal stress is given by this expression if we are going to compare this sigma t sigma r and sigma l suppose all these are the principal stresses so you will find sigma t is the maximum stress in thick cylinder therefore according to this theory sigma t is the criteria for the design therefore we are going to use the equation which is for this sigma t circumferential stress or tangential stress by using this equation we are going to write sigma t upon pi is a maximum stress do square plus di square upon do square minus di square we have to solve this for that purpose the simple method that is Componendo and dividendo theorem. The sigma t plus pi and sigma t minus pi, and here this bracket here plus do square minus di square minus do square minus di square. By using this theorem, we can solve this equation. After solving it here, you will find this di square and do square plus minus gets cancel here that means and again in this case do square and with this minus do square gets cancelled after solving it you will get do upon di is equal to this is outer diameter and di is the inner diameter of the thick cylinder under sigma t plus pi upon sigma t minus pi but do is equal to di plus 2t t means thickness from this 
this side and this side so you will get dy is equal to di plus 2t substitute this value here after substituting this value here you will get this expression then making and solving this expression and finding the value of t that is all thickness t is equal to you will get di by 2 in bracket under root sigma t plus pi upon sigma t minus pi minus 1 bracket complete by using this expression we can find out the thickness of cylinder which is made of brittle material and this equation is known as Lamy's equation and where sigma t is the allowable stress or permissible that is SUT upon FOS factor of safety now let us see if thick cylinder is made of ductile material such as mild steel or alloy steel so we are going to use clavi reynolds and Bernays equation to find out the wall thickness now let us consider the first one clavi reynolds equation now here this is thick cylinder is made of ductile material the maximum strength theory of failure is applicable to this according to this theory material begins to yield or fail when maximum strain at a point is equal to yield point strain in a simple test and simple tension test again at the inner surface as already derived in earlier session the stresses induced in thick cylinder these are the expressions and according to this theory yield or strain or tensile strain is given by this expression 1 upon e in bracket sigma t minus mu in bracket sigma r plus sigma l that is longitudinal bracket complete and this strain is equal to sigma by e as usual that is Hooke's law equating these two equation you will get this expression sigma is equal to sigma t minus mu in bracket sigma r plus sigma l now in this case sigma t sigma r and sigma r the this principle stresses so what we have to do here in next step substituting the value of sigma t sigma r and sigma l longitudinal stress all these values that we have to substitute in this expression substituting these values and rearranging the terms you will get du upon di is equal to this expression but here du is equal to again di plus 2t okay. we can substitute here so we will get this expression and again solving this expression for t t is equal to you will get di upon di by 2 in bracket under root sigma plus in bracket 1 minus 2 mu bracket complete pi upon sigma minus bracket complete 1 plus mu bracket complete pi minus 1 this is Clavierino's equation which is applicable to thick cylinder but when cylinder ends are closed that is important the Clavierino's equation which is applicable to close ends and where this is sigma SYT upon FOS allowable stress then we will see another expression for open end that is Bernie's equation this is also another equation to find out the thickness of thick cylinder when cylinder is made of ductile material and ends are open now again earlier according to the maximum strain energy theory we know that sigma is equal to sigma t minus mu in bracket sigma r plus sigma l but for open cylinder n these sigma l transfer stresses are equal to zero substituting this if we, we will get this expression as a sigma is equal to sigma t minus mu sigma r so what we have to do the calculated circumferential and radial stresses at the inner surface that we have to substitute these are the magnitude of these stresses we are going to put here sigma t and sigma r 
After substituting it, we will get d o upon d i is equal to this. But again, d o is equal to d i plus 2 t. Substitute this value here, so we will get in d i plus 2 t upon d i is equal to this expression. And finding t, then we will find out t is equal to. So this expression or equation is known as Bernoulli's equation, and this equation is applicable to open cylinder end. That means we have seen here Clavier-Renault's equation, which is applicable to ductile material, but closed end cylinder. And another one is the Bernoulli's equation for ductile material, open cylinder end. And before that, we have seen Lamy's equation applicable to the brittle material. Then another expression is available. For thick cylinder to find out the thickness, but it is applicable to high pressure oil and gas pipes, and you will find the this equation T is equal to Pi dO upon two sigma T, which is like a thin cylinder wall thickness expression. Only instead of Di dO is used as it's a thick cylinder. Sometimes Barlow's equations are also used when the cylinder. Is a high pressure oil or a gas pipes. Then another important point in that is atopretage. What do you mean by atopretage? Atopretage is a pre-stressing the cylinder before its use in service. That means it's a cold forming technique. In which pressure vessel is subjected to a maximum pressure, and because of this, internal portion parts yield plastically, resulting compressive residual stresses. That means pre-stressing the cylinder before its use, and it induces compressive residual stresses. That is ato pretage. Ato means material itself withstands the stresses without external device. And when it is subjected to internal pressure, that time, these compressive residual stresses are become zero, are going to decrease and become zero, and then the compressive or tangential stresses are gets develop in it. When cylinder is subjected to a pressure, circumferential stress limit the pressure capacity of the cylinder in pre-stressing, and this internal compressive residual stresses are developed at the inner surface. That is important. And when cylinder is in service, residual stresses are going to decrease and become zero. So you will find the application of this in cannon gun barrels, liner jackets for high pressure pumps. Why ato pretage is important? Because cylindrical vessels to increase strength against the internal pressure to sustain the internal pressure, and that's why this pre-stressing is carried out in cylinder by different methods. And out of this, first one is the compound cylinder or composite cylinder. In compound cylinder, two or more cylinders which are SML. With an interference pit, so you will find here. This is cylinder and this is a jacket. Inside this is cylinder, and outer is the jacket. But they are fitted or assemble interference pits. That means this jacket put some pressure here. You will find forces on this cylinder, and then this cylinder are assembled concentrically using heat. When it is heated, you will find there is a expansion sum, and when it cools, it contracts, and because of this shrinkage, it contracts onto the inner cylinder and induces compressive stress. That is important. In compound cylinder, when it is heated, there is a expansion, and when it cools, it contracts or shrinkage. Because of this, it puts some pressure on inner cylinder and induces compressive stresses. That is pre-stressing. Second method is overloading of the cylinder before its use in service. In this method, pressure vessel is subjected to a maximum pressure, 
causing internal parts of the part to yield plastically if internal portion of the parts yield plastically the resulting it internal compressive residual stress once the pressure is relieved this is overloading and third method is wire under tension is closely wound in this case this is cylinder and wire under tensions is closely wound around the cylinder and because of this internal compressive residual stresses are induced so you will find again here in compound when this cylinder inner cylinder and this is jacket so you will find in this case the radial stresses are more at the inner surface and zero at the outer surface similarly some compound stresses are more at the inner surface and less at the outer surface and because of this residual stresses the in first if you are going to make to find out the stresses induced in it you will find radial stress at the inner side negative sign it's a compressive stress that's why it's maximum and it is it becomes zero at the outer surface and circumferential stress is maximum positive side and in having less magnitude at the outer surface and because of this residual stresses gets induced it reduces this radial stress and compressive stresses also but we have to superimpose this compressive as well as the radial stresses with this residual so you will get the total effect of the stresses induced in it and it will help to increase the strength against the internal pressure next point that is gasket now again in case of pressure vessels you will find it is used to create and maintain barrier against the fluid leakage between the meeting surfaces in pressure vessels or containers you will find different elements or devices opening closing parts are used and to maintain a barrier against fluid leakage or liquid leakage between the meeting surfaces gaskets are used gaskets are made of two materials one is metallic another one is the non metallic generally metallic materials are lead copper aluminum are used the lead is going to sustain up to 90 degree celsius copper up to 20 250 degree and aluminum 400 degree celsius and they are used for high pressure and high temperature applications but for low temperatures you will find in non metallic rubber plastic corks are used as a gasket material and as best stones is having a resistance to crushing load and it can be used up to 250 degree it's not it 2500 250 degree celsius and compared with it other plastic and cork asbestos is having more resistance to crushing in non metallic the metallic and non metallic type gaskets are used here now in this diagram their constructions are shown you will find here in between two parts here gaskets is used here at this to pack it here part 1 part 2 which is used the different constructions and methods of using the gaskets are shown thank you i have referred vivi bandari's book while preparing this presentation design of machine element megrail publication if you have any query you can contact me 9890426679 or pbkushare@kkwag.edu.in thank you